Hello and welcome back. How is everybody? Hope you're all okay. Today I'm swapping over the motor on the old Rapidor power hacksaw. It's a single phase and it goes like the clappers. So I want to put a new motor on it, a three phase with verbal speed control. So let's get started by taking the old motor and plate off. This has been on for nine years. So I'm finally going to get around to doing it. And that's the wrong size. Give me a minute. That's a 14. Right and back. It's a 13. 13. Unlucky for some. Hopefully it's only just these two that's holding it on. Nearly there now. It's only been six hours. <laughs> Okay, that's that arrangement off. Just a matter of bolting on a new motor. The existing shaft on that motor looks smaller than the new shaft I got on the new motor. So I might need to bore that out on the lathe, which is upsetting, but never mind. Right. Fifteen and a half millimeters. Let's see what the other one's like. It's definitely bigger. Right, I'm back in workshop here. It's got much better lighting. Well, that's not going to go. Let's see what we got. What have we got? Nineteen. Nineteen millimeters. Difference of 15, no, 4 oh yeah, 4 mil. Right, I best get that on the lathe then. That's definitely not going to fit. Oh. I'm too tight to buy a new one, and I can't wait either. This is going to be a fun, bit of a funny one to hold. Let's just see how true it's running. Miles out. That's about the best I'm going to get it. It's old and it's got a few dints in it. So next stage is just drilling a hole in it and finishing it off with a boring bar, he says.
Lonesome. Job done, that's a handsome fit. Right, let's move on to the next stage. Getting it back onto the saw. Whoa. Just a simple matter now of bolting on the new motor carriage assembler. He says I like this, it's like a quick release I don't remember making anything this good There we go so we have single phase supply going to a variable frequency drive which in turn powers a dual voltage three phase motor that's been configured from star to delta and that now powers the power hacksaw with verbal speed so if I'm cutting steel I can slow the speed down so it doesn't burn the blade and if I'm cutting aluminium I can speed it up to save time Let's start it up and see how we get on, see what happens. As you can see, that is running at normal speed, so I can slow it down slightly. Look at that. Now isn't that a wonderful thing to have? the speed the saw was originally running at and it was too quick so I'm glad I don't have to run it at that speed anymore to you all thank you for viewing please subscribe and like my videos and help my channel to grow this was Chris the Bodge signing out thank you and good night <sighs> clean all this mess up now